Good morning everyone. Today you join me at um, Mineral Lakes in Bedworth. Doing a bit of specimen fishing today, trying to get a couple of big sturgeon, maybe some big carp. On um, one of the rods, I've got a hair rig with a little weight on it, and then a pop-up. Um, and then on this one, just a hair rig with a nice fat chunk of meat. That's going to go down in the margin. And then I've got some bait just to chuck in down there for the sturgeon. And then the pop-up's got some boilers around it. And then that'll either get a sturgeon or a carp. So hopefully as the day progresses on, we'll um, catch some fish. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good day. And we're in already. It's reeling a bit. Feels to be not a bad fish. Oh, it's just jumped out of the water. <laughs> nice sturgeon good size has jumped out the water and shown itself to me <laughs> keeps going underneath me with a rod i've literally i haven't even set my alarms up yet i um had the rod on the floor because what i did was i just uh chucked it down in the margin big piece of spam on it and here we are That's a hard fighting fish, that is. Just giving it some. Shooting up down the margin. Bending the rod, it's a good fish this is, really nice fish. I think he's got stag snagged himself up down the margin, just going to go over look. Yeah, he was snagged up in the margin. But he's out now. Starting to tire out a bit now. We're nearly there. We're nearly. He just shot towards me, I thought he'd come off then. Putting a right old bend in me rod, this one is. It's got to be 15 pounds. Maybe more. I've missed the fight that sturgeon had right now. He ain't giving in, no.
really does not want to be netted. Sees the net and he's off again. And he's in there now. That's a big old surgeon, that is. Leave him there. A second. Well, I'll just lay the mat out. In position now. Oh, yes. Was not expecting this. Calm down, buddy. Come on. Hey. Alright then, get him weighed. Nine point six three zero kg. That's a twenty pound fish. Now then, let's have a look, shall we? Look at that beauty, eh? Absolute lovely fish of just a, of over nine kg, which is over 20 pounds. Oh, let's get him back and uh, get the rods back out. Absolutely chuffed to bits about that. So, this video was basically going to be a quest to catch a 20 pound sturgeon and a 20 pound carp. We've already absolutely smashed the sturgeon. 21 pound and two ounces that's with um i've taken the weight of my net off um not the weight of the net sorry the, uh, my weighing sling um wet so 
absolutely chuffed, really am chuffed. First cast, I've dropped it in the margin. I haven't even chucked any bait around it yet. It was just a single piece of spam. And there was a couple of twitches on the end of the rod because um, I had it just laid on the floor. Uh, you know, I'll come show you now. The uh, bank sticks are in the ground, ready to have my alarms put on, but I ain't even done it yet because it just ripped off. <laughs> put up a really good fight. Sturgeon, you know, hard fighting fish. Jumped out the water a couple of times, which is absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm on my phone today. I haven't even brought my camera. Uh, because I was just going to come and do a bit of pleasure fishing. I wasn't planning on filming a video today, but I thought, yeah, why not? Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely buzzed about that. Absolutely chuffed a bit. So I'm going to get the area baited up, the rig back in, and hopefully get another one. No, I've literally dropped it in. I hadn't even put it down on my... Um, I've put my alarms in now. I hadn't even put it on them yet. Absolutely great fishing this is. Fighting just as hard as the last one. Don't quite, don't feel quite as big this one. Put that rod nice and high. Keep the line. Because this one, the rod I've had my fish on so far has been literally just tucked in the margin. And then that one's over at the island with a pop-up on. So I've lifted that up nice and high. So my line's out the way across the water, which is lifted up to avoid me getting snagged up. Another hard fighting fish. Another nice sturgeon, just seen its tail. Telling you, if you want to bend in your rod, sturgeon's the one. Absolutely love fishing for them. Really are greedy fish. Nice and fun to catch. And you can catch absolutely loads of them on a day like today. This one's a bit smaller. And he's in the net. And there we go, another nice sturgeon straight away. The fishing is absolutely going great this morning, really is going really, really well. Thought I'd show you what I'm doing here really, so exactly here and then I'm just laying it out and drop and then I'm just walking back. And then come and put me rod down here. That's it. Just fishing down in the margin. And that's where me fish are coming from. So never neglect the margins, guys. I thought I'd tell you a bit about my gear, really. Um, so my rods of choice are the three, uh, 10 foot, three pound test curve Daiwa uh, Black Widow G50 rods. Paired with the uh, Daiwa Regal bait runner reels. And um, M15 pound line. And then just inline leads going down to a swivel with just a simple hair rig on. And uh, that's what I use for quite a lot of my fishing, really. If I'm using a pop-up, I'll just put a little uh, AAA or BB on it uh, just to weigh it down so it can pop up. Or I'll use chod rigs, which are also a really simple rig. I like to keep my fishing really nice and simple. And, um, well, it works. Wasn't expecting a carp on that. That was a big old lunch, a uh, big lump of luncheon meat. That it's a very lightly coloured 
mirror. And there we go. Another fish to the lunch you meet in the margin. This shows there's loads of fish in these margins and they're definitely feeding. Shredding line. Up to the bottom, this one. Right in front of me. Absolutely stuck to the bottom. Does not want to come up at all. Feels like a good fish though. And another one, a bit smaller this one, but hey, I'm not complaining, I'm catching fish. Let's get them back, get that meat back out, catch another one. And a nice, another nice sturgeon. This fishing is brilliant, honestly. It's non-stop. Not a whiff on the pop up yet. Probably the smallest of the day so far. A lovely little sturgeon. They fight so hard, even when they're small fish. It really is great fishing. I'm absolutely loving it today. I've had quite a few fish, and it's this is really, really good fun. Well, it's been a bit overcast this morning. Um, with, you know, the sun popping in between the clouds and that out at the minute. Um, but yeah, the fishing has just been absolutely incredible. I think I've had like five or six sturgeon um, and a carp. Um, and it's just all been on the right hand rod, which is uh, tucked down in the margin. The other one's over on the island. I did have a take on it a minute ago, um, but unfortunately, you know, I missed it. I'd struck into nothing. Um, but yeah, there's uh, the fishing is just mint. I mean, there's not many other anglers on the uh, on the lake, and um, this particular venue is shut on Mondays, so it wasn't fished yesterday. Um, so the fish weren't put under pressure yesterday or anything. So yeah, hopefully the bites continue because I've just been having loads. I've just had a I just had a take a minute ago um, on the right hand rod uh, that I missed. Um, so I've just dropped it down again with a big piece of spam on it and um, yeah I'm just uh, chucked in some tin mackerel which is mixed with some pellets and a bit of you know ripped up uh, luncheon meat and stuff just as an attractant and then uh, seems to be working so hopefully there's more bites to come more fish to show you and um, enjoy the rest of the video
7.190 kg. So we'll convert that in a minute, but it's probably about 18 pounds, something like that maybe. There we have it. Another nice sturgeon. This one's a nice size. So let's get get this one back because it's having a right old crash. So I'm gonna get. So I've just converted that um, 15 pound 13 ounces. So that's a 15 pounder and a 21 pounder today, along with all the smaller ones. I've had maybe one that might have just about reached doubles, and then the rest have probably been uh, higher singles. So there's plenty in here. Obviously some of some good size. So um, time to catch some more. So obviously fish care is a vitally important part of fishing. You know, we uh, want to look after the fish. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I use for that really. So I always use barbless hooks in my fishing. I've never used barbs. Um, but the other equipment that I use, I'll um, show you now. So I always use a nice big landing net. So if I do catch a, um, a big one, there's plenty of room in the net. And then here's my mat. So fish sits comfortably in here. This is nice and thick. And then there's this. And I've put this on an extra mat. So it's, they're nice and comfortable in there. And then I just put that over them to, um, to keep them calm. While I just use the handles to weigh them. So I've been fishing for about three hours now. I've had plenty of fish. The fishing has been really, really, really good. But um reckon we're going to call it a day there. I'm uh, Obviously, I'm going to carry on fishing, but I'm uh, just going to enjoy my day. And then um, and focus less on recording. And just enjoy catching the fish. So I can get them back in the water as quick as possible. Because it is getting really warm now. So I'm going to carry on catching some fish. I'll include a little gallery of photos now. To end the video. And um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember to keep them lines tight. And I'll see you in the next one.